riding through Radford University this morning on my way for take two on working on the Suburban. I just thought I'd get a little image of that sky because man, it is beautiful. How are y'all doing this morning? I'm hoping your day is starting off as beautiful as this sunrise. This tree fell across the road. And I only recorded the last little bit, but there's stuff all out over there. All over here. It's awful pretty. The creek is high from all the rain we got. <sighs> yeah, there's all the, there's the other half, I guess. And it was blocking their driveway. Ah, Bluetooth picked up. I just passed the area where I left off yesterday um, talking about the Zwitters. There was a car wrecked on the corner my wife had called. Anyhow, um, where I left off explaining a Zwitter is I believe they were built in 54 with leftover split window parts. So what essentially you had was a split window car with a oval dash because they changed the windows and the dashboard I mean the uh, the split turned to an oval and then the dashboard received a facelift as well so what's at Jimmy's house is a Zwitter which is a 53 oval dash split and Maybe a 54 oval dash split. Either way, it's a 50 something oval dash split, and they're pretty rare. And the original owner of this particular Beetle, uh, for its facelift, after he had it for a while, he had the split window cut out and turned into an oval because he said he wanted to be able to see out the back window better. And he also had the semaphores removed. These things were left in the vehicle underneath the carpet. And when Jimmy started digging in, this car belongs to a, a big collector and he's doing the restoration for him, the metal work. And uh, he said that all the stuff, the split window piece and the semaphores were in the car underneath the carpet hidden from the last body man. So that was pretty cool and adds even cooler tie to the story. I'm getting ready to pull up and dig into working on the burb for God's glory. But uh, what I'll do is while I'm in here, I'm going to grab a couple videos of this and that. Um, this winter is pretty cool, man. But it is not really in a show off state. The story is the most awesome part. But uh, there'll definitely be pictures and videos as I continue digging in to this new home away from home. And I'll keep y'all posted. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. In and out. Yeah. In that looking here. Save up a bottle of sugar and take took this down to make an oval call. Right. They used to make a kit and come. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you take all that out and then you could put... Yeah. I've even seen them with a the bigger window. Yeah. And once upon a time, they were cutting these and the ovals out and putting the bigger big window. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's wild. So that's your oval dash. Which would have been a split, and it's gonna be a split again. 
special. Man, you're getting it in. Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say, after I got to hang out with Jimmy and worked on the Zwitter for a bit, the highlight of my day was helping Lugnut move his toolboxes into his brand new building. And this place looks huge on my phone. It's actually pretty big. But yeah, just something I did with my day, a little 30 second check in.